Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Bootcamp Sunday. So today we're going to be looking at the top 10 commands in my opinion and they're in no particular order except from one which is the first one we're going to show you and that is the most important command you'll ever use and that is Control S. Um, now you don't want to lose any of your work so it's always best to, to Control S and save your work and it'll save it to wherever you already saved and if you haven't saved before then it will um, it will ask you to choose a location so it's a really quick way of just saving your work as you go along. The next one we're going to look at is invert so I can use Control in I to invert all the colours in the image uh, now this can sometimes be useful uh, sometimes it's just a little bit weird. So now what you want to do is you want to transform it and to transform you can do Control T and then you get up your points and you can just do whatever you like with it and then just play around with it. There we go. So now guides are something you should be using, but sometimes they do get in the way. So you want to use control semicolon to bring them and show them. So I'm just gonna do control R to bring out my rulers. It's another one. Bonus for you there. I'm not including that one in the top ten. You can drag it out to wherever you like, so drag it out to mark this webcam. But then you can do control semicolon to hide and show it. Now if you're zoomed in on a design then you're going to be wanting to move around but you don't want to have to keep having to uh, zoom out and then zoom back into where it is you want to go like that, that can sometimes get a little bit annoying. So what's usually best to do is you hold down space, you can just click and drag the document around and try and find exactly where it is you want to go. Now sometimes you're going to want to merge layers and you can do that by selecting the ones you want to merge and doing Control E and it will merge them all into one layer. Alternatively what you can do is you can hide the layers you don't want to merge so I should want to merge these ones, there we go, but I want to merge the rest of them. So what you can do is you can do Control shift e and it will merge all the ones that are visible. There you go, so it hasn't merged the, these ones. So if you want to play around with something, but you don't want to risk losing it, or you might want to go back to it, what you want to do is you want to duplicate it, hide the first version, and then you can play around with the second Now sometimes you just need to flood the document with colour, so what you need to do is go onto a new uh, layer, now what you can do is you can either do control backspace, which will fill it with the background colour. So if you set the background colour to the green, control backspace it's now green. What you can also do is you can also do shift F5 and then you can pick a colour. So if you go to colour and then you pick one, so I'm going to pick a bright yellow, there we go. Hit OK and now the background will be yellow. This is probably an easier way. So now we're going to talk about zooming in and zooming out. So we can do control plus to keep going in increments. And control minus to come, come out. You can also do hold down alt and use the scroll wheel on your mouse if you're using a mouse and keyboard, which you really should be if you're designing. Also, when you're zoomed in and you can't see the whole document, what you can do is you can scroll with the mouse wheel to go up and down. You can hold down control and, sc and scroll up and down, then it goes sideways. And another thing to notice is you zoom out from wherever your mouse pointer is. So if I put my mouse pointer down here, I'll zoom to the top left. Now if I zoom it this way, I'll go to the top, like the bottom right. There we go. So you, you zoom towards, or if you're zooming out, away from wherever your mouse cursor is. And finally, probably the most useful um, thing is, is if you've got a large document or if you're already zoomed in, there are two commands that are awesome to use. Now, Control 1 goes to 100%, so you can see it from the size that it's being made at. This is how you should be seeing it. Now, if you wanted to see the whole document, you can do Control 0, and it will show you the whole document, no matter how big it is. So I hope all these commands have been useful for you. They really help increase your workflow, and they should help you uh, improve your design work. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, leave a comment in the description if I've missed out one of your favourite commands that you use a lot, and also comment which one's your favourite. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, and I hope to see you soon.